If you're looking for the best flat floor bucket mop set, then this video is for you. I bought and tested out three different flat floor bucket mop sets, except for the Joy Mop one, which was gifted to me, so thank you. Let's go and test it out. I'm gonna be going over the pros and cons of each of them and letting you know which one I think is best. So do bear with me though, because I'm gonna be filming this while this phone is on my neck, but let's get straight into it. So the first mop bucket set that we have is this X3 mop. And so with this one, I have been using this for quite some time now. And how it works is that you have a fill chamber, which has the clean water. And then this is actually where you insert the mop. And then this is where the disposable dirty water actually lies. What I've kind of realized after using so many mop sets is that there's not one clear direct way to actually clean your mop completely without actually having to throw it back into the washer. So I know a lot of these mop sets try to do the best job as far as trying to get the mop to be clean after a use. But right now let's go and test out the X3 mop. With the X3 mop set itself, one thing I kind of have a hard time doing is actually reattaching the actual cloth fiber uh, attachment just because it has to ring or have basically has to go onto these prongs here on both edges and you'll see what I mean in a second so as you can see the the pocket here has to go into here and I do have a hard time putting it back on after every use in which I afterwards I do wash these mop fiber heads but it's a bit of a struggle but I know you have to kind of Bring it out just like that. So it's a bit of more of the difficult side as far as reassembling it goes. But I do like how it includes multiple mop head brush head headsets. Uh, the mop itself is a decent length, but let's go ahead and test it out. We'll fill this up and then we'll start mopping with it and I'll let you know how I feel about it. While filling this up, again, this is where the clean water goes and I'm just gonna be putting some mop detergent in here. Just a little bit, just because I am gonna be testing out three different mop sets to actually clean my living room. We'll fill up a little more. And there you have it. So now as far as carrying this goes, it's got a handle. You've got a push button here to easily take off this lid, which I find very convenient. But what I like about it is I have no fear of this actually ever falling down on me just because of these push safety pins. But if we actually go ahead and test this mop, what you've got to do first is actually twist this here. And once you twist this, this is gonna open up a reservoir to actually allow the clean water into this middle reservoir here. So once you twist it, water's been added. Now let's actually ring our mop. And so as you can see, because I'm not doing it correctly, there you go. So I'll try to get the mop wet a little by pushing it up and down. And as you can see right now, about half the mop is wet. So what I'll do is I'll actually flip this around for a second. And then see if the bottom inserts, there you go. So with the X3 mop, I think they do a really good job of actually wringing out the water and keeping this, the dirty water separated from the clean water. So I really love this chamber here, this middle chamber where it adds clean water to the middle reservoir. So for me, this mop set makes complete sense. Right now the only drawback is I don't really like having to put these back on. It's kind of a pain. All right, so using the mop is pretty, pretty easy, okay. Um, I feel sturdy. It does come with a few brush heads. Let's actually go ahead and Clean it up real quick. So again, I'm gonna add more water to the reservoir and then insert the dirty mop back in and then wring it out. So I really appreciate, as you can see, there's like metal prongs that help actually get out the dirt. And you can see here, this is the dirty reservoir where the water is actually being washed out. So let's use it one more time We'll use it in a bit more further of an area. So like I've said before, I feel like there's not gonna be one clear direct way to actually get your mop to be clean after using it just once, okay? You do, you would have to throw it back into the washer, but even so, I really like how the swivel head is able to turn, it's flat. I have no problems with this whatsoever while using it. Very, very simple to use. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next mop. So now this next mop that we have is this one from Joy Mop, all right? And so what it looks like we have here is that we have a clean water chamber here, and then we have a dirty water chamber over here. So there's only two chambers in this mop. We do have a handle, which is included as well. And I do appreciate how the lid does feel secured on top. 
making sure I don't have any fear of it actually falling out while I'm actually carrying it. And for some reason, it feels like this rolls on the ground a bit easier than the other one I've tried. But as far as the mop itself, we've got a, basically this mop over here. And what I like about this is that the attachment to it is only one side. So it's more so like Velcro strap that you see here. And with it, it's a lot easier to put back on. So this is actually where the prongs fit into those pockets there. So let me show you what I mean. So if you rip this open, when putting this back on, you only have to place the slot pads on one side of the mop itself, making it a lot easier to put back on compared to other mops that I used. So once that's put back on, the Velcro's on, lay it flat. So we'll go and fill this up and then test this mop, at, mop set out. So we'll fill this one all the way up. And then we'll add our mop detergent. And there we have it, okay. So now we have it filled up. So let's take this out. Again, the handle, I always like making sure that the handle doesn't fall. But just to be safe, I'll hold it with two hands. And then we'll bring this one down. And so now you do have to make sure that this side of the mop goes up when you're putting it in. So now we have the mop inside. And so I must say that this is a very easy way to put it inside the mop. And then we have the dry one over here. So it's a very smooth mop so far, as far as getting your mop clean and dry. But now let's test it out. So, so far no problems with this mop. It's very, very easy to use. We have a flat head. Uh, one thing I will mention is that compared to other maps, the actual handles or the mop itself, it doesn't feel like it's gonna bend or break. So it feels very, very sturdy. But now let's actually clean the mop, supposedly. So again, this side goes up. And then so what I noticed about this chamber, okay, is that we have two chambers. We have a dry chamber and then a wet chamber. And like I've said before, I feel like no mop is actually gonna be completely clean versus dry after a single use of it. And that's what I kind of accepted. Right now, the dirty mop is going to the clean chamber and then I'm wringing it out into the dry chamber. But let's test this out again using over here. So it's able to go into small places. I think that's a pretty much a good test for this mop overall. I think the error is in the instructions manual where it's telling me to fill this up with clean water. But had I actually filled this up with this side of the clean water and then this side with uh, kept it empty. I think that would make more sense. But even look here, as you can see, it says max. I think this side should be filled up with clean water. Even so, I think it's, it's backwards. Again, it's an instruction manual thing. But as you can see, that dirty water just basically goes back into there, which is really odd. Let me actually just really quickly, I'm gonna dump this all out and just test it for you guys one more time, filling this side up with clean water and then leaving this side empty. Okay, so even though there's a max line there, we're gonna fill this side up with the clean water and see if that works instead. And then we'll add our laundry detergent. Just a smidge. Okay, so now we have it so that the dry side has the clean water. And so if we place it in, I might have put too much water, guys, sorry. Ah, I see what's gonna happen now. Now, if we do it that way, this mop is just gonna stay wet the whole time, it looks like. I mean, at this point, uh, maybe you guys can comment how I'm actually supposed to use this mop, but I am reading the instructions, and to me, the way that it's saying it's supposed to be used is backwards. But even so, I was hoping that this would stay dry, but yeah, it kind of looks like, I guess, the clean water will stay here and then after you use the clean water and dry it out the dirty water is basically just going to be cycled back into the clean water mostly most of it at least but overall i mean 
I hope this you guys found this helpful. Let's go ahead and move on to the next map. The next map that we have is this spin mop. And so how this works is that you fill up the water on this side over here. And then the spin mop, it actually has a clean water reservoir and then a dirty water reservoir. So let's see how it works. For the mop itself, you do have to unhinge this to actually get it to spin. As you can see, it's not spinning. But then if you unhook that, it spins itself. So let's fill this up with clean water. And because I didn't use the other mops water, I'm actually just going to pour it into here and see how that works. So again, the reason why I'm pouring it is because most of this water here is clean and I wasn't able to use it. But now let's hold that to the side. You want to make sure that this lid is completely locked in and closed and that it's tight. Notice how there's bristles here to help clean out the mop itself, which is really neat. But you do want to make sure that it's wet when you use it or else all this fuzz is just going to come out. You could also pour the water in here as well if you wanted to. So let me actually show you how that works. You can pour the water here. And that's what's going to fill up this reservoir over here as well. If you want, you could pour a little bit detergent. And then pour more water. So one thing I do like about this cat that I noticed right already is that even if you pour detergent, the bubbles, it's not going to overflow thanks to this lid. The handle itself, if you hold it up, it feels nice and secure. And so, so far, I must say, I'm pretty sure I'm really liking this spin mop. But now let's actually test it out. So right now we have the mop being dry. So we'll place it on top. And then you want to make sure that's secure. And then now it's spin. So this is actually a really interesting mop. It's got like a pump feature to it. And I actually want to see if the mop is actually wet. And lo and behold, the mop is actually wet. So this is actually a really clean mop. Or a really neat mop actually as far as it's injecting water into the mop itself. Clean water. And then the brush is using it. Or the brushes here that you see is being used to actually abrase the dirt out. So... I'd say the only drawback is like there might be some splatter a bit. So let me actually move this away from my couch. But very neat overall, I must say. So now let's test it out. So I'm not sure if this is extendable or not, but. So as you can see, so unlike the other mop heads, this one is more of a square instead of a rectangle. So it is gonna be, have a harder time reaching some places. Like for example here, in other mops where it was just a rectangular head, I may have not hit the edges of my table and chair. But for this one here, I do like how the surface area is just fine. I kind of wish it was extended more. Extended as far as like the rod itself. So let me see. Maybe if I unhook this one here, it'll extend. Yep. And then if I lock it. Okay, good. So this does extend, which is great. Right now it's a decent length as far as allowing me to actually mop. Okay, so now let's actually wring this out. The mop is dirty, and then we're gonna spin it out. And then we're gonna press, unhook this, and then press it down. Yeah, so I'd say the only thing with this one is that, again, there is gonna be some splatter. So I would advise to get this away from any furniture. But right now you can see that uh, my hand is kind of getting wet. But now let's wring it out. So I do like how some dirt is being captured, okay? As you can see there, there's some water buildup being made. But now let's go ahead and clean up over here. And there you have it. So that's the spin mop that we have as far as the flat mop plus bucket set goes. We've tested all three mops, right? Now, as far as which one I think is best, right? This is a really tough one. 
I gotta give it to this X3 mop over here. Even though it annoys me to actually re-put the padding back on, this one just makes complete sense when it comes to cleaning your floor, right? I really love how there's three chambers designed with it. There's a clean chamber that adds water to the middle reservoir and when your mop's dirty, it's wringing water into the dirty chamber. This one just makes sense. And if we think about why we mop our floor, it's to clean the floor, right? Usually a visible debris, obviously our floor is still gonna be dirty, but I gotta give it to this one as far as being the best one goes. But I still wanna give a special mention to the spin mop here, because it does the same thing. The only thing I don't like about it is that when you wring it, it splatters water around you, just little tiny bits of water. But even so, this is still a good size, but I would much rather have a rectangular head than a square head like this one here to easily fit in places. Now for the joy mop, unfortunately, I really liked how it was wringing the water, but this mop to me just does not make sense, okay? You have to fill up clean water here, and then you dry it here, but that dirty water just basically goes back into the clean water. And so everything about this mop feels great. The pole feels sturdy. The actual ringing of the mop is like very, very smooth, but I do gotta give it to the other one. 